The third lesson I've learned is that there's a lot of buzzwords around AI, say model context protocols, agentic AI, um, but they're actually really important to learn and understand. And so MCPs, model context protocols, for example, are just ways that AI can standardly interact with tools too. And then agentic AI is say, I'm a data analytics manager, right? And I have various roles on my data analytics team where I have a product manager who is managing the reports that we need to produce for the business. I have a quality control analyst whose job it is to actually check the reports to make sure that the data that there is producing is accurate. And then I have a developer, right? Where the person might be producing a data pipeline or a analytics dashboard uh, to disperse across the business. So dividing up AI agents like you would a team often helps it be successful where you're giving it specific context, specific things to focus on. And so that way, it's not overwhelmed with a lot of different things that it needs to know. And then model context protocols, which are essentially standard tools that your AI that your AI agents can work with, are able to provide AI the access it needs and very consistent functions that it needs to interact with your data. Now, if this sounds complicated, I don't want to overwhelm you. We're going to get into this in later videos for how you can set this up and we'll make this topic a lot more approachable and very easy to understand and actionable for you. So 